been down so long, it look like up to me. They look good to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Yo, what is up, you guys? This is your boy Vexy's coming at you with a video today on a control scheme breakdown. So, this video is going to be about um, my opinions of the pros and cons of different control schemes, and you can choose which one finds you like, which one you find most like interested in that you want to make a switch to, or the, the one you want to start off on. So, so um, the three control schemes I'm going to be talking about is tournament, alternate, and default. So start off with default. Default is the one that everybody plays on. It's the first thing that you're automatically on when you um, put in the game. And this is like, this is like this is a basic thing. Uh, you press A. You know you can roll. You, uh, a is the main button to for the movement like system. And the only problem with default is uh, miss rolling. So if you like to maneuver a lot, you're gonna often find yourself miss rolling every now and then. And it's usually going to get you killed. It's a very like big flaw that can happen. And it's like an error in your gameplay uh, when it happens. So make sure you like uh, watch out for that. Probably don't um, like know your sliding distance. Sometimes like it's, it's like hard to know because covers look different. They, it's why you're moving fast. They probably like look different to you. It happens to me sometimes. So I just like roll because I'm thinking the cover is going to be like able to be grabbed. But um, in the competitive tuning, they added this thing called a short bounce and long bounce. And this is a, it's called, it's a wall bounce cooldown. So you can't slide the, the full max uh, cover distance um, after your first cancel. So sometimes it's going to be hard to remember that or you might just not like learn the, the full 5.5 distance, whatever they call it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for default. Um, yeah, the uh, con for default, I mean not a con, the pro for default is missile recovery. Um, unlike other control schemes, you're able to recover from miss rolls faster. So like after you roll, you still go like halfway through the animation, and then you're able to um, recover from it by grabbing a wall that's near you. Um, unlike alternate, you have to go through the full animation. Default, you're able to like hold down A or time it like uh, perfectly, and then all you have to do is is just like grab the wall and cancel from it, and you'll be fine. Um, the last thing that I would say. This is sort of a con is that in order to have that increased uh, movement, um, I would recommend that you play claw. So you like sort of have to play claw if you want to like wall bounce faster, or maneuver faster on the map. Um, claw is basically another way to hold your controller if you don't know what it is. Um, your index finger is on the A button while both of your thumbs are still on both of these sticks. And unlike the default way to hold your controller, um, you alternate your you alternate your um your thumb, your right thumb to the A button and back to the right stick when choosing the wall bounce. And sometimes it's hard it makes it harder to move because you have to do a lot with your thumb. Um so next, we got alternate. Alternate is what a lot of players play on that they've came to the point where they hate miss rolling like hundred percent and they did it too much, so they just took that easy change to alternate. Well let me let me say that again. Alternate is not an easy change, okay, Al guys? Alternate takes a lot of dedication and commitment to after changing to it because it's kind of hard to play on when you're, like, learning the movement system. It's like you're relearning the movement system because it's like the, w the walls are, like, different. Like, you grab them differently. It's weird. Um, some of the good things about alternate, I have to say, is that alternate players, uh, like, it's sort of, like, like, in quotes, they get to places faster, which um, the thing is, on alternate, you can spam your, um, your A button, while like running towards walls because it's like holding X and A, but you have to be in claw to do this, of course. You can uh, spam your A button and you like you don't roll, of course. But once you get like to that uh, max sliding distance, you're covered. Like your um character automatically takes that max sliding distance and he's able to up A the wall and uh, you get an up A speed boost when you up A a wall, so you're able to get places faster. And sliding is faster than running. Um, next. Is the slow missile recovery? I believe I talked this um, when I mentioned default a little bit. Is that you have to go to the full animation. So if you miss roll, you're automatically getting killed. But the thing is that you're not really gonna miss roll on alternate unless you hit the wall directly and press left and A or right and A. Um, so, or unless you just choke and press the X button. But I don't see that happening to people really. 
So yeah, you most likely want wrist roll anyways, but if you do, the missile recovery is going to be extremely slow. Um, the last thing is that about alternate is that sometimes um, you you will get stuck on walls. You'll notice yourself getting stuck on walls, or it's like pretty difficult to relearn movement, which I mentioned before. But it doesn't happen that often. So, in my opinion, if you are like very very new to the game and you haven't learned any system yet, the first system that you should learn is alternate because you'll find yourself able to um, maneuver like the same amount as a default player. But uh, the only thing is like you can't do a cancel bounce movement. Which is wall bouncing and like every single time you bounce, you uh, you cancel off the wall extremely fast. Your cancel is a little slower. You're like um, you're more so gliding than you are canceling. So that's another good thing about that. Um, next, the last um, control scheme I have to talk about is tournament. Tournament is the one control scheme that I have never played on myself, but I just know about it. Um, your your movement system, like you the the move like your uh main button changes from A to LB because uh, LB that's what you take cover with and that's what you um start to slide to walls with but the thing about oh, like the thing about social tournament is it's like the best thing to a lot of new players that do not want to take the time to be dedicated to learning the claw while you're folding your controller is that um you don't have to you could just play regular thumbs and it's uh alternate your left index from LB to LT when you want to bounce, when you want to aim and stuff, which it's not that hard to do. So yeah, that's the good thing about tournament. The only bad thing about it is that I don't think that you could bounce as fast in tournament uh, due to you spamming B, I mean spamming LB. And the last thing is that on Xbox controllers, the LB wears down the fastest, so you will probably ha find yourself having a broken LB button or a broken controller every like few months after playing a tournament if you bounce a lot. Um, And the last thing is, like about that is, I know myself, a few players that I'm friends with, their LB button or their RB button has literally completely fallen off and they have to put it back on to their controller, which is sometimes a hassle. You don't want to deal with it. So um, if you're going to play on tournament, keep that in mind. I hope it doesn't happen to you. hope you don't break your LB button. kind of sucks if it happens. Um, that's basically it for my control screen breakdown. This is your boy Vexies, and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe as I will be dropping more videos. Um, I will try to do it as often as possible. That's basically it, y'all. Peace.